Why am I dancing? Why am I dancing? You know why? You know why I'm dancing? Because we did it, Joe. I'm dancing because all my life I had to fight. But my God, we did it, Joe. Q-tip, Q-tip, throw it away. What movie is that from? <laughs> Y'all, we made it to 40K. Oh my, I would like to take this time to thank the Academy. <laughs> we made it to 40K goddess game. Thank you to everybody that has shared a video. Everyone that told your sister's baby daddy's cousin about my videos. Thank you to everyone who has liked a video, left a comment, reacted to my video, disliked my video. Thank you. Because we did it. We are growing at a rate that I certainly was not expecting and we're here when i started this channel i wanted a safe place for men and women to come without any hurt without any bias a place we can all come to be accountable to be heard and to grow with one another and we did it joe okay i'm gonna speak into existence by this time next year, we will be at 100K. If we did 40K last year, we're doing 60K this year. And we are ashe, and so it will be. Okay? Now, y'all know, okay, I'm over here doing a dance. I know you're like, six, you so full of energy. How do you do it? I'm glad you asked. Oh, darling. How I do it, darling, is by what I put into my body, darling. And every day I'm drinking on these delicious organic fresh pressed juices from Alpha Juice Company. And then you may think, oh, six of goddess, how on earth do you have time being a mom, entrepreneur, taking care of your family? How do you have time to press fresh juices every day? Well, darling, I don't, darling. Okay, I don't, darling. See, Alpha Juice Company does the work for us. They grocery shop, juice it, bottle it, and even give us a straw. So that all we got to do is pick it up and drink it. You can freeze them. You can put it in your fridge. They are delivered to your door cold. I don't know how they do it. They put a little magic in the box. They put a little magic in the box. And somehow you get your juices cold and fresh. Okay. Again, the saw, the straw sends me every time. Okay. Not everything is about what you put outside of your body. It's not a skincare routine or waist shaper. It is about what you put inside. Nothing beats God's fruits and vegetables. Nothing. There is not a product in this world that beats putting organic fruits and veggies in your body. Me, I don't like to eat them, so I prefer to drink them. That way you get everything that you need, darling. You can use my code six god to get you five dollars off and save a few dollars, darling. Shout out to Alpha Juice Company, keeping me energized and able to do all I have to do, like get to this 40k subscribers. Oh, darling. Without further ado, darling, let's get into the show. So I saw, okay, a clip going viral from a podcast, okay, <sighs> with a group of black men, 
minding their business and expressing how they feel. Okay. <laughs> honestly, not gun to the head, politically correct, honest, not, I have to suppress my truth and how I honestly feel to appease a woman's feelings type of honesty. No, but black men being totally honest in how they feel in a conversation, minding their business, not bothering anyone. Okay. I'm going to show you the clip in a moment. Okay. Right now I posted this live a little bit late. So some people may trickle in a little bit later. All right. So when I seen all the fuss, I see people making reaction videos to it. TikTok videos about it. Attacking this man. So at first I only saw a photo of him. I didn't hear what he said. So the way I saw the women sliding their labia all over the internet, distraught. I thought that he had said something bad. I, I, I was like, oh my God, what did he say? I'm, I'm seeing this man pop up everywhere. What did this man say? I'm going to show you all the clip of what he said that has everyone in a tizzy. And then I'm going to give my unpopular opinion on how I feel about what he said. Okay. Let's go ahead and show you guys this. Honey, I, this sent me. This really, 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 really sent me. Let's go ahead. Where's the volume? Hold on. Oh, volume. Where art thou? Hold on. Where's the volume? Hello? Hello? Anybody? Uh, okay, well. Anywho, so I don't know why the volume has decided. All right, I'm going to head out. The volume has said, you know what? Not today. Let me see if I can play it on my phone. The volume said, you know what? We're not in the mood today. Okay? We just, we don't feel like it today. But I, I do want to play, I want his voice to be heard. I want you to hear the brother speak. I want you to hear him expressing himself, okay? Oh, my darling. I wonder why the, um, I don't know why the volume has decided to head out. Let me see if it'll play here. Very, very good month. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to play it for my phone because for some reason it doesn't want to. Literally, she says, I got a good job. I make very, very good money. And she says, the only thing I need now is a man. <laughs> it's like, yo. Like, <laughs> it's like, who wants you? Who wants you? you you're right. right. Like, once you have achieved these things, you have unfortunately disqualified yourself. Ooh, and, and, shit. And what it is, is these, because I, and this is the thing. I'm not blaming Ooh, the women. women are gonna hate him for that and shit. They're gonna hate him for that. They, they I can't wait to put this shit out. Okay. <sighs> so that's what he said. And we're gonna break down what he said. But first, I want to bring something to our attention as ladies, okay? Notice what happened there. Very something very interesting happened there, okay? The minute the brother honestly expressed how he felt, do you notice the other brothers first thing out of his mouth? The first thing that he thought about and he said was, "Oh, the women are going to be so mad at you." His first thought was not to acknowledge his brother's thought, his brother's opinion. He did not disrespect anyone. He did not hurt anyone. The man's first thought was not to process what he said. His first thought was fear of, oh, my God, what are the women going to say? Oh, the, the ladies are going to be so mad at this. Now, we as women say 
that we want our men to open up. We want our men to express themselves to us. Okay, when I hear women talk, they always talking about how they want a man that's emotionally intelligent. Oh my God, I just, I don't know. Like the men, they just don't express themselves to us. Okay. And this shows how women be lying. Okay. You don't really want men to express how they truly feel. You don't. You want men to validate your feelings. The truth is women could give a fuck less about what you niggas want. Sorry, the Florida girl comes out sometime. And I don't know how to say things nicer. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you ladies don't give a fuck for real about what men want. You don't really give a fuck about them opening up to you. You don't really give a fuck about their truth. You don't give a fuck. But let's stop capping, ladies, okay? I don't want to hear women no more talking about how you want men to tell you the truth. No. What you want is for a man to only open his mouth. How dare he open his mouth unless it's validating how you feel and your thoughts. Then he can talk, right? Okay. Now, the brother said what he said, and I agree with him. Oh, no. <laughs> here we go. Oh, here we go. Now, see, this is why we as women have to do more with speaking up, okay? Because men are designed to care about your feelings and protect your feelings, but I'm not. <laughs> see, they may say things and sit there and be like, oh, no, I can't believe that you just spoke honestly. These women's Gones gets mad at you. See, they got to worry about that because they need something from you. Luckily, I'm a grown ass woman. And I don't need shit from any one of you. So I could tell us the damn truth. Okay. So I'll go ahead and have this conversation. Thank God. Okay. The brother said what he said. And he's right. Okay. And the only women that had an issue with what he said because I paid attention to the type of women that went out their way to literally make content calling this man everything but a child of God. And they all were masculine Mandy's. It was either women that don't have a man. It was women who were masculine. And if it was women that had a man that is always running around on them because she makes him feel like less than a man. So he goes and sleeps with the whole city to feel like more of a man. I saw women like that speaking up. I saw a lot of boss bees speaking up. I seen a lot of women who are the sign if I can't other in their relationship. I saw a lot of provider women um, having an issue with this. Because he didn't say anything wrong. He didn't say anything that required their response of calling him a name. Or attacking his manhood. I saw everything from women calling him insecure to gay to a little ass boy. Off of that. All right, let's get into it. So, I've had women come to me and be like, ah, six of goddess, she lives in that apartment, a little two bedroom apartment. Where's her luxury car? She drives a Jeep. Okay, she drives a Jeep, lives in a two-bedroom apartment. What's wrong with her? I, I sit there and I sit back and I let them talk. Oh, oh, tell me more. Oh, tell me more. Okay. Oh, what else? You always. Now, we're talking about single women here. Okay, because in his clip, he's speaking on a woman saying, oh, well, you have disqualified yourself. So we're speaking on a single woman, mean a woman who is not married. 
Um, you damn right I live in a two-bedroom apartment. You damn right I drive a Jeep. Because guess what I've done? Made space. I made space for a man. Am I wanting for anything? Am I lacking anything? Okay, I have a safe, clean, nice apartment roof over my head. I have a 2021 truck. Gets me where I need to go. Okay, I'm happy. I'm fine. But I have not taken myself to that ultimate level to where there's no space for a man to contribute, provide, and give to me. It's bad enough I'm ridiculously good looking and a strong, intelligent woman. Okay? It's bad enough I have an entire brand of my own, a social media following. My God, I'd be shooting myself in the foot, putting myself in a five-bedroom house with a Mercedes in the driveway. I might as well just buy a bunch of cats now. I've left space so that my man could come in and he can be the one out here shopping for a house. He can be the one out here like, hmm, what car she would look good in? See, this is the pivotal moment where femininity is, it, it transcends. Everybody looks feminine with all the makeup and all the weave and all the dresses until it comes time to not fight divine order in nature and go along with the th way things go and move in accordance to it. This is where women fall flat. Okay. I've seen men have hour long conversations about how you tell if a woman is feminine or not. And the way you tell how in touch a woman is with her womanhood and her femininity is how much does she fight things that she cannot win? As much as women have lied to themselves, you don't make the decisions. You don't decide how this goes. You can have an input and an influence in how things may go, but you do not have the final say-so in any way, shape, or form. Get over it. Women spend so much time trying to be in control of things you will never, ever be in control of. And there is no amount of complaining and babble that will ever get you there. Okay? You know, six got, six got, uh, why do you drive a Jeep? Why do you live in a two-bedroom apartment? Sweetie, 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 pay attention. Pay attention here. Okay? Pay attention. Men need to feel needed. Understand this. No one is telling you as a woman to not achieve. The man didn't say don't be ambitious. He didn't say just roll over and die and don't have anything. What he said was, you are not making space for him. Okay. Now, a lot of women want men to communicate the way we communicate. Okay. You expect a man to talk the way you talk, and it does not work that way. You wanted this man <laughs> to get on here and say, Well, you know, um, I really don't mind, you know, how much you achieve on your own. It doesn't really threaten me, but I'm a man and Sometimes if men, as men, you know, we have needs too and we need to feel wanted and needed and we need to have space in your life to feel like we have an impact. This is how women want men to talk. That's not how he talks, genius. This is why you as a woman are given the gift of discernment, emotional intelligence, okay? You have to hear what men are saying without them saying it. They don't talk like us, and I'm glad they don't because they have better things to do than to sit here discussing their feelings like we do. 
When a man says, okay, you got your house, your car, your career, making all this money. Now you've disqualified yourself. What he's saying is, where is the space for me? We cannot be this dense and basic. I mean, my God, ladies, tap into your power. This up here is a beautiful thing. The minute you stop arguing with men about how they should talk like you and understand the way they talk and express themselves and move accordingly, the happier you'll be. Okay. Now. You as a woman can make as much money as you want to make. You can be as successful as you want to be. But we've talked about this before, and I'm going to reiterate this just in case we've forgotten. Ladies, every achievement that you get, every dollar you make, nobody cares. Okay? We as women should all be functioning as adults. Money, credit, transportation, housing, that's called being a grown adult. See, women want attention, praise, and accolades for their monetary achievements the same way men do, okay? When a man is a big baller, he gets the special treatment, right? He is raised up in society. Women, we don't get that. Nobody cares. Nobody cares how successful you are. Nobody cares how much money you make. It does not put you in a better position. You do not get treated the same way as a man is successfully. So if you make your achievements, make your money, you make it. You know who you celebrate that with? Your homegirls. Go to your girlfriends. Go to your sister and y'all can clap with each other about it. It's just as bad as men wanting better treatment better positions because they look good. You wouldn't want that. The, the worst thing ever is a man that looked good. So now he think that just because he looked good, that he gets a higher position. Real women know we could give a damn less if a man looked good. Who cares about how a man looks? Ladies, can anyone in the chat tell me how a man's looks has any bearing on his ability to lead, protect, provide, what bearing do his looks have on that? Zero. We could give a damn less about how a man looks. Who cares? You know the only time a man's looks, anyone remotely cares, is when they play sports, when they need someone tall to dunk the ball. Then they, it maybe matters amongst each other in that instance. Outside of that, nobody and no woman of any type of value gives a damn about a man's looks. Who cares? Now, that's totally different when it comes to women. Now, women, you, your rank, your level is totally based upon how you look. Okay? Part of being a grown adult is accepting differences, not fighting. Well, how come the women and well, how come the men shut the hell up and grow up? This is the real world. What is this? What is this? It was not fair. So when a man is successful, that makes him better, but not us. Yes, bitch. Any questions? I'm glad you're finally catching on. There you go. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. I know you can do it. You're starting to get it. All right. All right. <laughs> so, ladies, this is why putting all your eggs in the basket of achieving and competing in the marketplace monetarily is a bad investment of your time because it doesn't put you higher. It doesn't put you in a better position. And we're talking about women that want relationships, that want a man. When women achieve, it's like, okay, great, cool, cool story, bro. Your girlfriends will care and that's it. A woman who is broke and never been to college, but is fine as hell, can cook, has good nurturing skills, is a good mother, good in bed will always get the better man than the woman who makes hella bread, is hella accomplished, 
but she is totally out of touch with her womanly side and roles. It's women right now making tons of money, A plus credit, business rolling, where while you're gone at work all day, your man is cheating with a woman who's unemployed and makes him feel like a man. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and break down what this brother said. I'm going to play this one more time for everyone who just came in. There's actually a lot of depth to what he said, and I'm going to break down. I'm going to translate this for you ladies into what he was saying. Let's listen to it one more time. I got a good job. I make very, very good money. And she says, the only thing I need now is a man. <laughs> it's like, yo, like, <laughs> it's like, who wants you? Who wants you? you you're right. right. Like once you have achieved these things, you have unfortunately disqualified yourself. Ooh, and, and, shit. And what it is is these because I and this is the thing. I'm not blaming Ooh, the, the women. women are gonna hate him for that shit. Like, they're <laughs> they gonna hate him for that. They, they I can't wait to put this Sir, shut the hell up. Who cares? I cannot stand that he said that. Shut up. That's so weak. Shut your ass up. They're gonna hate him. Who cares? Does that affect your paycheck? Does it affect you? Stop caring about what these women think and let men express themselves freely. Your own brother's holding y'all back from saying what you did. Talk. These women are going to hate you. So what? What can they do? Beat your ass? Who cares? Y'all care too much about what they think. Who cares? The women are going to hate you. Shut up and listen to your brother talk, you ass. <laughs> The women are going to hate you. Shut up. Shut your ass up. That pissed me off so bad. That's your first, that's the first thing that came to your mind, nigga. No, the women are going to hate you. Uh. Shut up. God damn it. That's your problem now. That's why the women resent your ass now. Stop caring about that. Say what you got to say and say it with your damn chest. That really grinded my gears. Shut somebody shut your ass up. That just irked me to no end. Shut up. Oh, the women are gonna hate you. Shut your ass up, please. Jesus Christ. That's it. That right there is our problem as a people. Our men afraid to say what they gotta say because they're gonna hurt our feelings. This is why. That is that right there sums up our real issue. You cannot be a leader whilst also caring about who's going to hate you. <laughs> They're going to hate you for that. Okay. Now, everybody put a hand up in the chat. If you have yourself, okay, forget a case study. Put a hand up in the chat if you yourself have heard a woman say something either exactly or to the effect of I make my own money. I got my own house. I got my own crib. I don't need a man for nothing. I just need a man as a, as for some D or for a companion. What he said is a woman saying, I got my own everything. Now all I need is a man. Right. Put a hand up in the chat. If you yourself with your own ears have heard a woman say that. Oh, my darling. Mm. Oh, my. There's a lot of hands here. Oh, my. Let me put my hand up. I've heard it. Okay. Now, whenever you want to figure out how something looks or feels in relationships, is a great place to start is put yourself in that person's shoes, okay? Now, how would it look and feel for you as a lady if a man was to say, I already know how to cook, clean, okay? I already know, I already know how to raise some kids. All I need is a woman to come suck this dick. How would that make you feel? Look, I already know how to cook clean. I already know how to fold laundry. All right. I already know how to rate, change a diaper. 
All I need is a woman to come in and deep throat my to me to my balls. How would that make you feel? How would it make you feel if you had a man that was that had a feminine job like a nanny or a librarian? And he said, Well, you know, all day at work, my job requires me to be feminine. So when I come home, I'm sorry, I just can't be masculine. All right. I don't know how to turn this off. My job requires me to tap into my feminine side. So, sweetie, don't even think when I come home that I got to protect and provide. I can't get out of my feminine lane at work. Would you ladies be okay with that? Would you say, oh, okay. <laughs> well, don't worry about your roles as a man. Oh, you, you can't come home? You can't come home and be masculine? Ah, no problem. Not happening. Stop trying to make fetch happen. Stop it. Fetch is not happening. Okay. Rule number one, fellas, run as fast as you can from any woman that says anything. Like, I got my own car. I got my own crib. All I need is a, any woman that, that even come out her mouth, run as fast as humanly possible. Because why are you saying that? Nobody, literally nobody, not one soul, not, not one individual. Women, I got my own money, got my own car. That right there should disqualify a woman. From being the wifey, the face car, your girl. See, you brothers got to learn how to look at red flags. See, when a woman brings up how she don't need you, okay, when she brings up everything that you are supposed to provide and makes it painfully clear that she does not have space for you in that regard, she's telling you something right there. That's called an exchange. I'm exchanging these monetary things so that I don't have to fulfill my womanly role. So that I don't have to be feminine. So I don't have to cooperate with you. So I don't have to help you. That's her way of stopping you in your tracks and saying, oh, no. Before you get any ideas, I don't, I don't need you. Red flag number one. Okay. So now I've seen some women when this whole discussion was going on, women were saying things like, oh, men like him don't like successful women because then they don't have to take his stuff. Let me translate that for you brothers of what that means. Okay. When a woman says, oh, okay. When a woman says, well, okay. Men like that, they don't want me independent because I don't got to take his ish. Basically what she's saying is that if I have my own everything, I can talk to you any kind of way. It means I can have other men. It means that I don't have to have any conflict resolution. Okay, I could just run from my problems. It means I don't have to give you any time for growth. Okay, it's just like women have to translate what men say. Men, y'all got to translate what she's saying. See, some men, especially in this economy, especially from our lack of fathers in the home, some men think that they have cheated the system and won when they can skip the hard work and steps as a man and just marry and latch on with a woman who already has. Guess what, guys? You can't cheat the grind. You can't cheat the system. A big part of your manhood is producing from nothing. And you may think that you won by getting with a successful woman who will hold things down, keep you stable, but I'm letting you know now, my brother, 
you will be more miserable doing that than you will ever be for the sacrifice that it may take for you to sacrifice, suffer, and put in the work to get where you need to go on your own two feet. You will rarely see a man who is with a woman that he used as a cheat code to get ahead further be fulfilled and you will rarely see them be faithful. You will secretly inside of yourself resent your woman every chance you get. And the scariest thing about that is that love and resentment can coincide and live in the same place. There are some men who are confused. I love my wife, but I also hate my wife. You hear women say all the time, I did so much for him and then he left me for a woman who never did nothing for him. That's why. That's why he left you for her because she didn't do anything for him. She let him fulfill his God-given desire to produce without interference. You don't build for a man. You support the man while he builds. You just don't get in his way while he builds. The, when a man subconsciously resents you, that's how it comes out in the seeking of other women. This is why you have so many women complain about men cheating. We can't ever talk about men. While the woman talking about, well, they going to still cheat. Brothers, I know. It's hard for you as black men. I know that life is a thousand dollars a day, present day. I know that. I know you face a lot of obstacles that other men do not face. See, other men can just wake up and be and do. Black men can just cannot just wake up and be and do. They have to not look like a criminal, not get locked up, not they have to watch every move they make. And do, even if he's not a criminal, even if he's not up to no good, he has to go out his way to appear non-threatening. He has to watch the way he speak, the way he say things. And on top of that, still produce. Okay. So you will rarely, if ever, as a man, be with a woman that you used as a cheat code, her job, her credit, her stability, you, you think you won. Little do you know, that costed you more than you have in your bank account. You have actually put yourself behind and in a deficit. Nothing replaces hard work as a man. Stop comparing yourself, fellas, to everyone else. Your journey is your own. If you're with a woman and she is rushing you to get this, get that, instead of accepting where you are and being willing to assist and take care of you while you build, if she ain't with that, she ain't the one for you. Too many men sit, and I blame social media for this as a uh, partially, too many men sit and you see somebody else with the car, with the crib. Now you think you're supposed to have that same thing at the same time when you don't know what that man had to go through and sacrifice to get that. Now you want to speed up your process. So your solution is I'll just get a woman that has it. You will never prosper that way. You will find yourself borderline wanting to delete yourself in those situations. If she pressures you to keep up with the Joneses, to give, I want this, I want this, she's not for you, period. Baby girl, you move when I say move. We moving at my pace. Don't like it? Scram. The word of the day for you fellas is scram. Ho? I'm just kidding. Don't say ho. <laughs> <laughs> scram ho y'all put in the chat in, in the chat hashtag scram ho <laughs> I 
But don't really say ho. I just thought it was funny. That's just my odd sense of humor. Y'all know I'm weird. Don't say that. <laughs> but say scram. Scram. Bye. See ya. Okay? Hasta la vista, baby. Ciao. Sayonara. Adios. What other languages can you say bye? I don't know. I can barely speak English. But you get the point. Okay? Now, you will probably never have a woman who you use as a cheat code, use her job, her money, her credit to get ahead. You will rarely have a woman like that who also shows you unconditional masculine respect that fully fulfills her womanly feminine feminine duties that is a full competent nurturer and is a full present mother and teacher to your children it probably won't happen okay because guess what that means guess what them women who are super successful tons of money all that guess what that mean she probably ain't never home. Means she busy all the time. Uh, it also means that she's working a lot, which equals work husbands. Okay. So the women, the reason why women say that, oh, because you have women say that successful men or rich men don't make good partners because they're rarely faithful. And see, what that is, fellas, is called, <clears throat> wait for it, wait for it, alpha juice, alpha juice. You know what, alpha juice? I think we should give some of these juices away. What do y'all think? You guys, I have the Alpha Juice Co. Instagram going along the bottom of my screen. Go to their page right now leave a comment on the post with me on it and say six sent me and they're going to be sending you a pack of juices free you're welcome go right now but come back go and then come back like don't leave and don't leave and don't come back go and come back here okay we're doing a giveaway you will get you some juices for free go to their instagram it's at the bottom say six sent me they're going to hit me up, let me know who won by the end of the stream. Go now, but come back. And when you come back in, like the stream. So when women say that successful men cheat more, guess why they say that? Oh, darling, they're going to, oh, darling. They say that because that is called projection the other word of today is projection projection you know why because women that are corporate bulldogs and and beasts and successful and make money 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 cheat the most Okay, that's why. Because you're high powered woman that ain't never home, always working, always gone. She cheating about 80% of the time. And I say this as a counselor and mentor with over 500, I am teetering on the verge of 600 women that I have personally one-on-one -on -one mentored and worked with over the years i'm telling you fellas they are the ones that cheat okay women inherently have a need for attention and adoration they do okay so what happens is they're away from you a lot they 
subconsciously resent you because this is unnatural. Whenever you use something for what it's not meant to be used for, normally it breaks. That's normally how it goes. It either normally breaks or doesn't work. Okay? If you try to eat cereal with a fork, you'll miss the milk. The woman is not designed to be the leader, the provider, the stability in a family. They're not. Okay? They're just not. So when you try to use her as that, it breaks. You don't get the milk with the cereal. See, a man can be successful, make tons of money, still be faithful, still provide, still not take his leadership and authority and hang it over a woman's head and abuse it because it's not that serious to him. This is what God made him to do. This is what he was created to do and to be. God is a powerful force, guys. But that's not a woman's God-given role. See, in 2022, we've lost our respect for God and what it is and the force that God is. And now we think that we can rewrite the rules, which is why we're failing miserably. Now these women tell you, oh, we can, we can be the provider and we can still. No, you can't. No, you can't. You're not God, ma'am. Okay. God is inside of you. But uh, you are not this individual form personification of God. You don't get to decide that, sweetie. Okay, There's things called divine order for a reason. And since God did not create you to be the provider, the protector, the leader, sweetie, whether you like it or not, you will subconsciously resent that man. Okay. You will subconsciously resent that man. Sometimes the resentment will come out in self-resentment. These are the women who overeat out of shape. Sometimes they start to self-loathe because they may love their husband. They may not want to hurt their husband, but secretly they are resentful and it could come out in a health issue, a skin issue. I've seen women in those positions where all of a sudden they they breaking out in hives. That's called resentment coming out your pores. So it would either cause a health issue. She'll start cheating, undermining you, talking to you any kind of way. Okay. Have you guys ever had a job where um, like the manager is out for the day and the manager will call in and say, that whoever the butt kisser employee is, is in charge for the day. Have you guys ever experienced that? And they're not the manager, but the manager is not there. So they put them in that position and they get on your damn nerves all day because now that they've got a little piece of power, they abuse it and start doing the most. That's women. When you put them in that provider leader role when they're not supposed to be. Since she's not equipped to lead and provide and be the stability of a family, and you put her in that role, she will abuse it every chance she gets. And a lot of you, that you have women, if, if you're a man in that predicament right now, and you think that you have a woman where you used her as a cheat code and you're exempt to this rule, honey, okay, I would hate for you to see what's going on that you don't know about. Okay? So this man in the video that we listened to, he used a very strong word. He said, you're disqualified. Is, is that the part about that that really had women's gears ticking? Because if what he said just was totally absurd and wasn't true, the women would not have cared. But the reason why they cared so much is because they know he was right. And they know that deep down inside as a woman, no, you are not fulfilled and happy being the leader, stability, and provider for your family. You're not. 
They know that subconsciously they will resent you. This is why if you're a man with a woman where she's the leader in the, in the stability, let you piss her off. Okay? You piss her off, she taking all that shit back. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. See, a man can be in charge, be the provider. You can piss him off. He ain't going to take his stuff back. He ain't, he ain't going to take it back. You, you can still get it. He's not going to throw it in your face. He ain't gonna, he's not going to do it. Because this is what he's supposed to do. But a woman... Oh, let her be in charge and be that stability and be that leader. Oh, the minute, the second things don't go her way. Oh, you going to hear. Okay. This is that woman going to come out with a list. <clears throat> I do this and I do that and I do it. Da, 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 da. Now you as a man, now you're in a very unnatural role. Now you're in the role where now you got to just suck it up and take it because you need her because you depend on her. You put her in a bad position. You tried to cheat the system and it did not work. Okay. That man said, listen, if you come at me with all that, um, I got all this. All I need is a man. That man said, oh, no, honey, I ain't got time for that. Because I don't, because the fact that you even said that is a problem. Why would you even say that? Okay. The man said, so now when men express themselves, this is why they don't. Why would women all around the world hear the way this man, how he felt? He did not call you out your name. He did not put you in danger. He did none of that. He simply expressed the truth in how he felt. And y'all called him gay? Y'all called him insecure? Why? Why were y'all so triggered? You know why? Because for some reason, with you women, truth just burns you up. You're emotional as fuck, which is ironically even more of the reason why you are never, ever, and will never be fit to be a leader because you are not equipped to listen. These are all the women that claimed that they could handle being successful while still being respectful and happy in their relationship. Yet you have showed in your reaction to this grown ass man expressing how he felt in his own space in a respectful way. You have validated his point that you are unable to listen to the thoughts and opinion of those that you claim you are equipped to lead without emotion and without being irrational. You have proof right there while you are not, why you are not meant to be the leader in these relationships. This is why you will never win as a man. This is why you will never cheat the system as a man, putting your woman to be the leader, stability provider of your family. These women called this man insecure, called him a little ass boy. Because he spoke how he felt. He ain't hurt nobody. Instead of them digesting, respecting, comprehending, meditating on, taking a deep fucking breath for a second, on what he said, it was straight to, oh, he is secure. He a little boy. Men like this just let baby do what they want to do, and you got to just sit by it. You proved this point, ladies. Congrats. You played yourselves. I don't want to hear anything else. Oh, listen, go. It's not hard to find that post. You all need to go on Instagram. If you don't believe me, you need to go. Look at the comments for yourself. Look at how these women attacked this brother for simply speaking on what he had to say. My brother, if you see this, if you're listening, I want to tell you I'm sorry. 
I want to tell you, my brother, that I understood everything you said and you were 100% right. And I'm glad that you as a man spoke your truth. When God spoke to you, because we speak about women's intuition, forgetting men have intuitions too. My brother, I am proud of you for listening to your intuition that God sent to you, that you were able to have the discernment to know that when you hear a woman speak like that, she's letting you know that there's no space for you. And I'm glad that despite what all these masculine Mandy said, you stuck by what you said. I don't want to see you issue no apology. Do not explain yourself. Do not backtrack. You said what you said, my brother, and you're correct. Thank you for listening to the God within yourself and the discernment within yourself. The woman for you will be a woman who leads with her womanly qualities, not her masculine and monetary qualities. My brother, you have just done yourself a favor. Any women that now see you and remember you as being a man that said that and don't want to deal with you, you, my brother, have just weeded out all the headaches. My brother, pay all you men need to pay attention to every woman that had an issue with that and weed them out. Weed them on out. My brother, congratulations to you. I want to say I'm sorry. I want to say I'm sorry that women are so confusing. I want to say I'm sorry that women will sit here and say that we want you all to express yourselves we want you all to be honest about how you feel. And then the minute that you do and it does not fit the narrative that we see fit, we attack you for it. Call you out your name and attack your manhood. Okay? We're a work in progress. We're doing our best to do better. We're doing our best to teach one another to stop fighting the system. Stop fighting the way things go. Accept things for the way they are so we can move forward. But my brother, you were not wrong. Okay? If you are watching this, I want you to know we stand by you, okay? I stand by you. I would like to encourage more brothers to say it with your chest. Speak freely on how you feel. As long as you are staying on code and you are not disrespecting us or putting us in harm's way, I want to invite more brothers to live in their honesty and truth and how they feel. Okay. Ladies, we got to do better. If you claim that you want leadership positions, that requires listening. Women are not equipped to be leaders. Whenever you give someone a leadership position who is not equipped to do it, you get a tyrant. You cannot say, I want to be the leader. As long as the people that I am leading only express sentiments that I approve of. That's not how this works. We need to learn how to listen, discern, and digest things that our men say to us if we expect them to be open and to express themselves to us. We cannot say one thing and do another. It is unhealthy. We need to grow up. We need to get our head out of our behinds and we need to be grown ass women. I want every woman watching this right now to breathe in and breathe out. Okay. Now we have a winner for the giveaway. That's going to get them some alpha juices for the free free. The winner is Brianna Shanice. It is B-R-I-A-N-N-A-S-H-E-N-I-S-E. Miss Brianna Shanice, congratulations. You won the giveaway for some free organic fresh press juices from Alpha Juice Company. Please send them a DM with your shipping address to get your juices as well as go on their website, look at the menu, pick out what flavors you want, and send your flavors and your address to their DM to get you some free alpha juices. Congratulations, sister. 
Um, I want to say thank you to you all again for 40,000 subscribers. If you are not subscribed to my channel, if you enjoy today's content, I invite you to su subscribe. I invite you to join the Goddess Gang. Ladies, if you like today's look and it is serving for you, then you can join my Patreon, patreon.com slash six, the goddess to get these makeup and these hairstyle tutorials darling and join my beautiful patreonas if you learned something and enjoyed the content today i appreciate every super chat i'm sorry i did not get to read them all today but i have business to take care of i appreciate every cash app my cash app should be in the description box it is dollar sign six the goddess you show me love, I show you love, we love each other. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video. I love you all, and I will see you on the next one.